cross attention in transformer architecture. Cross attention is a way of merging two token embedding sequences in a transformer architecture. So quickly on the cross attention, you can uh, uh, subscribe on YouTube. You can uh, subscribe by mail on my website, uh, vatslavkosar.com. Uh, basically here, you can ask me as well using this form if you have some question on, on YouTube also. Uh, if you have uh, questions or maybe requests. So uh, quickly, uh, this is a simple uh, short video about uh, this topic of cross-attention. So cross-attention is basically self-attention, except we are merging two different sequences. Um, uh, and so uh, one of the sequences serves as a, a query. It, it, we use it to create the query vectors. And uh, the other sequence serves for creating keys and values in the self-attention. Uh, so I will go through this again, but uh, we take this uh, query and uh, key uh, uh, embedding sequences. You multiply them, scale them. I usually skip the scaling, but it's there. And then, yeah, we can do the um, optional masking, but especially we do the softmax. And then on the output, uh, we use the values to create the output. But because from the left we have this uh, query, then the length of the sequence will correspond to the length of the query sequence. We can as well, thanks to the, how we create these uh, matrices to create the keys, queries, and values, uh, we can also choose uh, the output dimension, uh, but the length of the it has to follow the length of the query sequence. So uh, basically, it's a it's a cross attention is a attention uh, mechanism in transformer. Uh, you know, it's used in transformer architecture, and it can mix two different embedding sequences. Uh, the two sequences can have and usually are of different. Uh, well, usually, but they just can be different modalities. For example, text, uh, image, or sound, and we can you know we can take all these. We can merge text with image and sound together to actually get a uh, diff, you know, output that contains uh, information from all of them. Yes, uh, ta, 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 ta. you can look at it a little bit like on uh, as a uh, similar to the feed forward layer, you know, all the, the same concepts are used across the transform architecture. I have this post on transformer architecture as well. So you can go through this post. There's a simplified attention mechanism uh, explained. And there are details of all the calculations. Uh, there's also about the complexity calculation. And you can as well look at the feed forward layer explanation. I have post about that. And again, there are similarities. The feed forward layer, you can say uh, that it's a cross attention with some sort of constant you know, input. OK, I will have more examples later on. But now the cross attention algorithm is quickly, basically, as I said, it's a self attention, but on two different sequences. So we have uh, sequences S1, S2. Uh, they have different, their lengths can differ. They, then we use uh, key and uh, value f is calculated from sequence one. Then we calculate query se sequence two. Then we calculate attention metrics from keys and queries. And um, then apply values to the attention matrix. A. Okay, a couple of things to edit here. All right, and uh, output sequence then has a, uh, yeah, we can choose the dimensionality. Uh, the way we calculate this is described here in the equation. So you can have a look. And the softbox output here is the attention matrix, as I mentioned. OK, so the examples, uh, there are very visual, so we can have a look. So for example, in the BART uh, decoder, the, in the original paper of attention is all you need. Uh, we, the, the, the cross attention is used to basically decode uh, in the decoder. So we use the as an as a sequence uh, two. We use the uh, the input sequence from the encoder. Uh, this is passed into the cross attention, and then the query 
is actually the uh, decoding sequence. So the decoding sequence, you know, can be very short because, for example, at the beginning we start from no tokens and we uh, progressively generate them step by step. Uh, and uh, the input sequence is different. For example, if you are translating, so on the input we have encoded input sentence in English, we are translating to French. So we start from, you know, uh, one token and then uh, step by step decode uh, the entire sequence. And uh, here it makes sense to use uh, cross attention. So it already existed in the decoder. Uh, the cross attention is extensively used in the perceiver IO or perceiver or hierarchical perceiver IO, which is a general purpose cross domain architecture that can handle a variety of inputs and outputs. And it uses extensively the cross attention for basically merging first, merging inputs. Uh, you, 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 merge uh, uh, all the different inputs into the latent uh, sequence um, where the latent sequence is low dimensionality so i can afford to calculate cross attention multiple times and then as well because the latent dimension does not correspond to the input sequences but why i still need to predict something in uh, in general on the uh, input sequences for example some kind of masking or something then you need to have these, uh, you need to be able to actually query the, uh, the architecture. How do you do that? Uh, you basically, the output query, you, you have some sort of command, you echo the command, uh, you, you basically, you can train it, for example, uh, how the command should look like, and then you cross attend again with the, with the main uh, latent latent sequence, uh, which will produce an output array. This way, you can use the cross attention. So you cross attend the command with the latent sequence uh, that produces the output. That's how perceiver I/O hierarchical perceiver works. I have other related posts, for example, in DeepMind's ret ret retro transformer. Uh, the cross attention is used to attend to uh, retrieved sequences. So in the red transformer, you have this database uh, uh, on which you retrieve based on the input and then the output of the database, the, some encoded uh, sequences that, from the training data, you use them to cross attend uh, to uh, Basically, you query them from the main uh, sort of latent, latent, um, latent uh, um, layers uh, of the transformer. So you sort of inject information uh, that was retrieved from the database into the um, into the layers in the retro transformer architecture. So you can have a look at that. All right. Yes, you can have a look at the code. I have a link to the code in the hugging face burst and uh, cross in the cross with it's also used uh, this cross attention. So um, uh, what you can do with this is that you can have a look at the perceiver IO, sort of understand what's happening, how the cross attention is used there. And you know, this uh, perceiver IO seems to be very general architecture. Maybe it could be usable on your project as well to merge different modalities. So if you have different modalities, maybe think about doing something like uh, cross attention in perceiver uh, IO. And just one mention on the perceiver IO, what's also interesting about this, this low dimensional latent array actually allows you to uh, operate on uh, uh, high dimensionality inputs. Uh, especially in the latest paper, a hierarchical perceiver. Okay, that's about it. Uh, if you have any question, or if I if I made some kind of mistake, I'm still studying this. Uh, let me know, and um, yeah, you can. If you if you like this, you can subscribe. If you uh, if you think it's uh, in general nice, you can recommend this to others, and yeah, you can subscribe by mail as well. All right, and you can ask me some questions. I hope to see you next time. Bye.